Police are looking for the people who broke into federal agents' vehicles in Corktown last night. They were grabbing a bite to eat at the area's latest brewery, and now the owners are taking steps to ramp up security. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park with the latest from Corktown. The owner of Batch Brewing Company here on Porter Street tells us the suspects were brazen in their break ins. They came in through the main parking lot, driving around to the back to break into those vehicles. Shattered glass remains in this Corktown parking lot after thieves targeted at least one unmarked vehicle belonging to a federal agent. It happened last night outside Batch Brewing Company, a brand new establishment that opened last month. Detroit police are investigating, but the brewery is already taking steps of its own. Announcing on its Facebook page today, they'll be hiring a full time security guard to patrol their parking lots. To ensure their longevity, it helps them to. Uh, Provide services. Deborah Collins is no stranger to Corktown. Her best friend owns St. Cece's Gastropub a few blocks away. She says rapid growth in the area is bringing with it some growing pains. A lot of it is just the infrastructure of the neighborhood. It wasn't built to house as many vehicles as are coming in. Stephen Roganson, co founder of Batch, telling Action News hiring full time security is another expense he'll have to swallow. Patrons say business owners shouldn't have to go to these lengths, but having a guarded parking lot. Is a smart investment. It's going to affect business, obviously. No one's going to want to come here. So you got to spend the extra money to make, ensure that people are safe. Owner Stephen Roganson tells me they will be installing some better security cameras outside the building. He's also going to be attending a community safety meeting here at the IBEW Hall behind me on Porter Street. They will be meeting with authorities to discuss how to prevent break ins in the future. In Corktown, Jane Park, 7 Action News.